Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Physics Fun. So in this video, we are going to learn how to solve heavy string problems. And then we are going to learn one very important concept. You can call that result also. That is very easy to remember. If you remember and understand that concept, all heavy string questions will become very simple. You can solve them just in two to three lines, right? So let us start and see the first problem. This is a comprehension from Pathfinder. So 45, 46, and 47, these three questions are based on this comprehensive. comprehensive. So let us see, uh, here there is one uniform inextensible rope, mass is given, length is also given. It is attached to a block of mass 7.5 kg. This is 7.5 kg block. It is placed on a horizontal floor, which we can see. Friction coefficient is 0 0.5. So here it's 0 0.5. The upper end of the rope is held two meters. So this distance is two meter above the lower end. So that tangent at the lower end remains horizontal. Very important point. So here tangent remains horizontal. Then now block stays Stand still, block is not moving. Acceleration due to gravity is 10 meter per second square. So let us see, first question is upper end must be pulled at angle which is close to. So the point is that at this here, in at this end, somebody is holding this. So at what angle this person is holding this, right? This is what we have to find out. In second question, friction force between block and the floor, we need to find out, right? So let us understand the concept. One concept, that with that concept, other two problems also, these three problems we will solve. And then other two problems also, we are going to solve from that concept only, fine? So let us see. So this is the diagram. Now in this diagram, what I have done, I have considered, see where I am pointing? This DL part, right? So this TL part now, let us say its radius of curvature is R, fine? So don't make this diagram, this DL, and then here like this, because the radius of curvature, its center of this will not be here, right? Not necessarily be here. Its radius of curvature will be something else. And then center of the radius will be, because this is not a circle, right? Fine, so that is why I have drawn the center here. Let us say this angle is theta, this is d theta, and this is dl, right? We have to follow very carefully. Then here, let us say tension is T2, here it is T1. It's given in the question that here it is horizontal. And this angle alpha we need to find out, first question. Now, since this is heavy rope, tension will not be constant. And when you are going up, weight is increasing. So here, now, if tension is T, here it will be T plus T. Tension is not uniform. So I have assumed here as T, here as T plus DT. And then if this angle is theta, see where I'm pointing, then this angle will also be theta. Correct? Fine. So after that now, what I have done, this thing now, I have this diagram which you are seeing. See this diagram? I have made that straight here so that it's easy to understand. Now, the same part is drawn here. This is DL. Remember, this is a very small part, just that it is enlarged so that we can understand it properly. So this is D theta. So I have marked this as this D theta by two, D theta by two. Here tension is T. See, this is T, T tension. Here it is T plus T. Theta. Now, in every heavy rope question, you have to do this. And this is D theta. This is also D theta. You can see the angles now. See, here, what is the mass of this DL part? It will be lambda. Lambda here, I'm using for mass per unit length. DL is length, length of that and G. This is mg, right? Now the mg is here, but this angle is theta. This is also theta. So now I'm taking two components of this mg. One is along the radius, right? Radius of curvature. Another is along the tangent. We can do that. So here, the uh, component along the radius will be lambda dlg, which is mg cos theta. You can see here, this is lambda dlg cos theta. Along the tangent, it is sine theta, this component. Fine. So in every question, you have to do it of heavy rope. Now, after that, see this dl also, 
I have enlarged here. This is del. And this angle is theta, so makes this angle is 90 minus theta. So this is 90 minus theta angle. Just follow this carefully. And then all heavy rope questions will be very simple. This is 90 minus theta. So this will be then del sine theta and this is del cos theta, right? Now guess what? This is dy. If this is y axis and this is x axis, this is dx. Fine, we are going to use this. And we are going to arrive to a very, very simple result, which you can use directly in all heavy rope questions. Fine, so here, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to write the force balance on this part in tangential depth, right? So force balance on DL part in X direction. So this, I'm calling this direction as X, this direction as Y. So you can see that this angle is d theta by two, this is d theta by two. So here, the force in this direction will be what? T plus dt, and here it is minus t cos d theta by two, right? This is cos component. This is equal to what? This component, which is lambda dLg sine theta. Lambda dLg sine theta, right? This is cos theta, this is sine theta, right? We are almost done. Now, since this is very small, d theta tends to zero, cos d theta by two tends to one. So this equation now, this T and T cancels, you get dt cos d theta by two is one, is equal to lambda dLg sine theta. So dt is equal to, now, the most important thing here is, what is dL sine theta? DL, dL sine theta is this, dL sine theta is nothing but dy component here, right? See, here y height, this height is given, right? That is why I'm doing this. That is from where we got this hint. So dL sine theta becomes dy, and now we integrate, right, theta equal to zero, to this point or theta is not there, just that y equal to zero, y equal to zero. Tension here is T1. See, so I have taken tension here T1 and zero to y. This is this I'm taking as y. Tension here is T2, right? So you arrive to a very simple and very important, very, very useful result. This you can use in all heavy rope questions. T2 minus T1 is lambda y g. So this is T2, see here. See, it's very simple result. And this is T1. And T2 minus T1 is equal to lambda y. What is y? This is y. Lambda is mass per unit length into j. This is the additional equation you need. All other equations are normal, regular equation, which you can very easily write. Force balance. Let us see. Force balance on entire rope. For entire rope now, what will be the force balance? See here. This is T2. So in x direction, this is the rope. So T2 cos alpha is T1, right? This is very simple. Everyone can write T2 cos alpha is equal to T1. In y direction, if you write, so here it is tangential. So in y direction, T2, this is T2. T2 sine alpha is balancing the entire weight. So T2 sine alpha is balancing the entire weight. Lambda L is the total mass into J. So these three equations. These two equations are very simple. Everyone can write this, these two, right? This equation, if you remember, then it's very easy. All the questions are going to be very easy. See now. Part one, we need to find out alpha, fine. So how to find out alpha? You see from one, this is T2 minus T1 and three, this is three, T2 sine alpha, sorry, two, one and two, T2 cos alpha is T1. So T2 cos alpha, T1, we are going to substitute here. We can substitute T2 one minus cos alpha, right? T1 from this equation, see? This is equal to lambda yg and T2 sine alpha is lambda lg. Y is given, L is given. We can divide these two equations and y, l, both these are the values given and you get alpha is 53. Isn't it simple? Very simple. Now, second part, we need to find out the friction force actually. So we can simply do force balance on the block. This is T1, this is friction, T1 equal to F. And then we can use this equation now, T2 one minus cos alpha, alpha is 53. This is equal to lambda, lambda is 0 0.5. And y, y is given to, this is 10. So T2 into 2 by 5 into 10 is equal to 25. So you get just by some calculation, you get F as T1. And T1 again here is what? T2 cos alpha. So you find T2, multi multiply by cos alpha again, and you get 15 Newton. Now the third part I'm leaving for you so that you can apply this and practice, right? Okay. So what is the key point here? Key point is this equation. If suppose there is one heavy rope, 
and you can take any two points, this point and this point, and then difference of the tension is just that lambda y, that is height, right? That y coordinate difference into g. Very simple equation. It's very easy for you to remember this also. Let us see now, other questions. So this is in laws of motion chapter, check your understanding, question number three. Let us see now, how can we solve this? This is check your understanding, supposed to be a difficult question. Uniform rope of length 12, two fixed nails, you can see from the diagram that are in same horizontal level. That's also clear from the diagram. If the rope makes an angle, sine theta is 0.6 with the horizontal. So this is 0.6. Find H of the lowest point on the rope below the nails. This H we need to find out and radius of curvature row of the rope at the lowest point, right? So two normal equations, one equation T2 minus T1 is lambda yg we are going to use here. See, see this diagram now, this is T2, this is T2, this is theta. So one equation and here, let us say tension is T1, right? At this point, midpoint. So one equation is very clear in X direction, T2 cos theta is T1, right? X component of tension is same everywhere because it does not have to balance any weight and all. Y component will change because it has to balance weight. T2 cos theta is T1, right? Everyone understands this. Now T2 sine theta, see here, if you see again, write the equation on entire rope, what you're going to get? You're going to get 2T2 sine theta is equal to lambda LG, right? This is what you're going to get. So this two comes here and you get this, right? T2 sine theta, very simple equation, just the force balance. So T2 sine theta is equal to lambda L by 2G. Now, from the previous result, see how can we use the previous results? So T2, T1, T1 and T2, what's the difference? Lambda Y component G, Y component H, T2 minus T1, Lambda HG. Very simple. That's it. You are done. Now, there is some simple calculation here. T2 into cos theta is 0.8 is equal to T1. This T2, this T1 value you can substitute here. 0.2 T2 is lambda Hg, and then you can use this equation, divide these two, you get Hs to meet. Isn't it simple? So just by remembering this thing, all heavy rope questions will become objective questions for you. You can solve just in two, three lines. You can see there are many lines written here because I have to explain, right? I have to, when you are solving, you can just write this, write these two equations and three lines you get the answer. Right, this is check your understanding. Again, question number three. Okay, Olympiad level question. But if you know this, then you can solve it just in two, three lines. Okay, so let us see now. Yes, in this question, you have to find out one more thing. Radius of curvature at the lowest point. So that means here. Fine, let's draw the diagram here. Here tension is T1. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take a very small part here and draw its free body diagram. So this very small part is here, tension is T1, right? It's this d, d theta tends to zero. And then now equation, same equation, same equation, same diagram. So uh, I don't think there is a need to explain this. This is a d theta by two. So the now the force balance in this direction is two T1 sine d theta by two is lambda into what? The rho d theta. What is rho? Radius of curvature, r d theta, right? into G, that's it. D theta, D theta cancels, sine D theta by two, you can write as D theta by two, two, two cancels, D theta cancels, and T2 cos theta is lambda rho G. T1 is now, this is T1, right? And T2 cos theta is T1, this we have written here. See T2 cos theta is T1, this the same old equation. And from two T2 sine theta, the previous equation is lambda L by two G, this also we have discussed. And if you divide these two, we get rho as L cot theta by two, right? So this is optional. If you want, you can remember this result. When suppose there is a heavy rho and the radius of curvature at this point is L, this theta cot theta by two. If you don't want to remember, it's fine. If you understand this that, but I will strongly recommend you to remember this result. T2 minus T1 is lambda HG, right? Okay, so rho is equal to L cot theta by two. That is the answer for this question. Isn't it simple? Very simple. Now, one more question. This is work power energy. Check your understanding. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवनटीन सेकेंड लास्ट क्वेश्चन अगेन चेक यूर अंडरस्टैंडिंग कि हाउ इजली वी कैन सॉल्व दिस so let us read the question there is a massive homogeneous rope of length l it is suspended between two nails you can see these two nails a and b driven in the same horizontal level the rope makes an angle theta that we can see and lowest point is at depth d that also we can see there is a bead now threaded in the rope released from the nail a so from here it is released down the rope without friction so there is no friction right key point If the bead is so light that the shape is of the rope remains unaffected, okay. So bead is moving, but its shape is not changing. Find acceleration of the bead when it passes the lowest point of the rope. Fine. Let us see when it is coming here. So suppose when bead is here, it will have velocity v, and then forces will be mg. This is m of the bead, and there will be a normal force since there is no friction. so no force in this direction no tangential force only centripetal forces only centripetal acceleration will be there right so centripetal acceleration is v square by r don't make this mistake don't write v square by d right d is not the radius of curvature here radius of curvature we need to find out so v is what v square by r is our answer correct centripetal acceleration r is radius of curvature v is the speed finding speed is very easy energy conservation Here it is root two g t, right? This everyone knows. You can very easily just write this equation: half m v square is equal to m g t. This is an energy conservation equation. No work done by normal force. So v is root two g t. R is l cot theta by two. Previous result we have used length theta, and acceleration is v square two g t by l cot theta by two. So that's the answer, right? So that's it. Key point here is what. Again, I am repeating. This is the key point here. T two minus T one is lambda h into g, lambda y g, right? So this is a very simple, no calculus, nothing. Very simple analysis, and you can solve all the questions. Fine. Okay. So now I am. Uh, there is one practice problem here here for you. Part three. Another question is that when there is a heavy string, what kind of shape is this? Is this parabola? is this hyperbola is a circle or is it something else right so that is the question now you can answer that question in the comment box and if you have any doubt then also you can ask in the comment box if you like this video please hit a like button to this video and more importantly please subscribe to this channel also right thank you very much thanks for watching this video we'll meet again all the best